You may have guessed, when you're playing the game, you verse that bear, there's a guy that, like, flops around when you're using him, so... And just so you know, I do ha I do own all characters, so... Don't... Oh, what's that? See, the poison, after a while, it still takes damage, see? Three times. Afterwards, and this guy's just a big... Whoops. This is just a big fart, see? Does the same thing as the other ones, and this guy's... That, and you'll never guess where his Y attack is, though. Well, see? You can pretty much trap him in there if you can get him in the right position. We'll see how I can actually do that. And just so I know, he doesn't have that... You know how I did the Y thing, like this? The bear doesn't do that. Instead, he does this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. See how he, he goes in the air and then does it? Watch, I'll do it again. Well, I suppose. See? I'm gonna beat up that guy now. Oh yeah, just so I know, some weapons have crits. They're represented by little white dots. When you're choosing them. I might have to repeat some characters for this guy, because he doesn't have, I have many characters unlocked. I'm just going to keep doing that. This is the peasant I was talking about earlier. The peasant has the exact same attacks as the other um, characters. See? As most characters in the game, they have the exact same attacks. So now, I'm just going to kick the crap out of that guy. I'm not going to show you the red orange guys attacks again, guys. Oh yeah, just let me know if you time the projectile right, you'll do it automatically. Sometimes you can get your projectiles into, um, cutscenes, which makes it seem a little funnier and stuff. This is the Black Knight. He's pretty much the exact same thing as the Grey Knight. Or open face gray knight, I guess you could say. Oh, there we go. See, he throws a, cur cur a silver knife instead of a gold like the king does. Arrows rain down, as you may have guessed. This guy is pretty much the exact same thing as, uh, the last character you saw. Except instead of a knife, he throws a freaking, uh, bomb, like the gr normal gray knight with the mask clothes you get from him beating the barbarian boss. See? Remember, as I said before, try to ignore all background music. Oh yeah, if I have a friend come in, just kind of ignore him and listen to what I'm saying. See, he had the almost exact same tax as the other guy. Now, next is one of my favorite characters. I'm just going to skip a couple of characters ahead. Well, you know what? I'm, this, yeah, yeah, there he is. I can't remember where, which way I was going. I call him H H Saddam Hussein because you have to admit, he kind of does look a lot like a terrorist. And his is one of the most original projectile attacks, ready? See? Uh, whoever's at the door, please wait a little bit. His, that thing does that. Um, his thing is, uh, his normal attack is this, see? He's got the sand on it. And, oh, just let so you know, if you do, you see this guy with the, and you're versing the green knight, when they use it, it makes it look like, it, I call it a crap nato, because it kind of looks a lot like a tornado, but it's like toilet and crap colored, you know? See? Oh, look at this. See? That's one of the characters, one of my favorite characters. Well, I was close. 
And as I said before, this, the second player is just going to keep using the same character because I don't want to be show characters again. Uh, here we go with the Forest Knight. He's almost the same thing as the Brute, except he throws uh, um, something different. And remember, almost all game characters projectiles move the same. See, it's just a knife. See, it's a giant vine like this thing. Except that's a thicker vine with spines. And different characters do- whoa! Again, different characters do different dances. <sighs> Sorry, but I keep hitting the camera. It's on a tripod, so it'll stay still. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, I'm on the carrot controller again. I'm probably gonna show you the crap NATO afterwards, after I show you all the characters. Just... For a little, like, joke. Oh, and just so I know, the bear, when you use the poison guy on it, he does pretty much the same thing. This is the Barbarian. He pretty much has the exact same attacks, except it's a Thor, it's a big axe, and different things rain down at different areas. And the, just so I know, the characters you see here aren't max, max, magic is maxed out, but except the, the um, Y attack, RT Y attack is different. I'm just like, oh, ignore all my friends walking on. <sighs> I didn't want to play offline, because I didn't feel like I'm plugging my modem. Okay, who am I on now? Okay, the Brute. And Fire Knight, as usual. <sighs> I'm just like, oh, I'll probably do a top ten list at the end of the video. See, acorns in a vine. Pretty much the same thing, see? He's the exact same thing as the Grey Knight, I mean, the Forest Knight. Except, he throws acorns instead of swords. And remember, if you time your uh, projectile right when they get up, they'll get knocked right back down automatically, so they won't have any time to move. Now onto the thief. See how the thief just has the curled knife instead of a um anything else. Oh yeah, and when you're beating, trying to beat the game on one hollow characters like I did, it's best to play with friends because it makes it easier. So when one of you die and you have pots, you get um, automatically revived until all your pots are gone. So it's a very handy thing to have. This is the fencer. He is one of the best characters in the game. Very one of the best because his um, Y attack goes through objects. His RT, his magic Y attack. See. It's a buzz saw, and there's normally six buzz saws. See? And it's a projectile like that. He's a fencer because he has the fencing mask on and the sword. Oh, and if you're trying to juggle, it's XXY, 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 and it'll keep him in the air and it'll keep popping him back up. Just to let you know if you didn't know that, which I doubt you didn't. And remember, try to ignore all background music. It just might be my brother or, or, my, or my brother's stupid friends. This is the beekeeper. And as you might have guessed, he controls bees, which isn't very hard to figure out. But he's another funny character to use, because how many games actually let you control people with kamikaze bees? Now, when you're on the edge of the map, all the bees keep falling down rapidly, so it's kind of funny. Just like Mo thing, but some things, as I said, the fencer, go his magic, his magic uh, Y attack does some serious damage, and it can like kind of juggle people, and also it can kill bosses wicked fast. 
It's probably he's probably the best character in the game because he's one of the most handy. Because the poison character would be the best if his poison could. Have, oh crud! Sorry, I accidentally did the same character twice. And I just rapidly pressed start. So try to ignore.